what's up everybody welcome back to the channel we are once again going to try and make it happen today out at redfish point uh, it's about seven o'clock just put the kids on the bus uh, it's a beautiful day we got north winds northeast winds around 10 knots so i'm um, hoping that um, given the fact that the tide's moving out the winds are on the beach we should get lots of bait pile up and hopefully we get some some fish in the boat so um yeah we are ready to go we are all packed up Rod's loaded, just got to connect the truck, and we'll get out of here. So we'll see you guys on the beach. Yeah, he was right there. I think he's on. No. <clears throat> Something just picked it up. Broke the surface with it. I don't know what that could have been. Let's try it again. There's fish here. Come here, you little rascal. The last bait got picked up pretty hard. So we'll try again. Same old story. Tail hook. Tail hook pinfish. Lively enough. That fish crashed pretty close to the beach. He was probably within 20 yards. Probably a big mangrove, I would think. So we'll see what that produces. Four rod spread today, the usual. Knocker rigs with live, live pinfish. We'll see. Stand by and wait. That fish. That pinfish is getting scared and running. Something's gonna pick him up. Shark. The other guy down there caught a shark. And I think my bait might be gone. Or decapitated. I don't know, let's check it out. Still alive. Get him back out. Grab some more bait. Man, they're really hard to find today with this onshore wind, but we're managing. You get a school to swim by here. my luck, I'll be walking away from my rod and it'll go off. I do see some right there, so we'll just try and get them. Shitty throw. Oh, 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 oh! Damn! the rod right over. Jeez. That was a red. Come on. 
Take it in. Come on, take it in. Little fish. Wow, I can't believe that rod got pulled right over. Thank God it's a sealed rod, real. A lot of fish in here. All right, got him this time. Oh, it's okay. I don't know where it went. <laughs> yeah, I have a whole bunch. Feels like a mangrove snapper. Well, maybe a little bit bigger. It lights right in the camera. It's hard to see, but... There's fish today, that's good. No, it might be a red. Feels like a red. I don't know if it's going to be slot though. What is that? Oh yeah, it's a red. Looks like you might be over slot. We'll check them out though. Good size. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And Walmart has one. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. This one. That's nice. I don't. I don't know if it works with this. I think so. I don't know where my pliers went either. Come on, buddy. Oh, let's measure him anyway. I got it. Nice red. I think he might be a little short. We'll check him out. My new fancy board. First time. First time. Let go with that. 25. 25. Perfect. Oh yeah. Want to come home with us? We need to get it. All right. One in the boat. All right, let's get back on them again. Redfish was 25 inches. Perfect eating size. That just shows that the fish are here for the taking. And the rod holder always catches fish. Nothing to do with technique. I don't claim to be a professional fisherman, but rod holders work. Oh, we got something happening here. Come on, pick it up. Come on. Come on. Oh. Take it. Take it.
That's a good looking bait. Go right behind the dorsal. Ooh, he's a lively eye. Go find your friends. Nothing, huh? Mangrove took it. I think we got one here, he's picking it up. Got him, whatever he is. Whatever it is, he's on there. I think it's a mangrove. Small mangrove, maybe for lunch. Oh yeah. What is that? That is not a that's a blue runner. I'm gonna say this guy's in the Jack family. <laughs> Come on, buddy. No, it's a blue runner. Like a blue fish? Nah, similar. Yeah? It's in the Jack family. That's small? Yeah. That's good. Good looking fish. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can eat it, but... Strong. That's a first for me. I'm gonna take a picture because I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's a blue runner. If you know, comment in the description below. Take a picture just in case. Yeah. Settle. One's gonna go off. They're both getting nibbled on. This one may be here. Over here. Woo! This thing just took off. I don't know what this could be. Maybe the same thing, a blue runner. Oh, did he come off? No, he's swimming towards me. This might be a mangrove. Yes, a mangrove lunch. Here we go. There's lunch. Okay. 
Yeah. Here we go. Let's get a measure on them. Finally got the mangrove that's been tormenting us all morning long. They got to be 10 inches in Florida to keep. Let's see what we got here. Solid 11. Thanks, buddy. Another one. All right, let's get it back out and see if we get another one. Got another one here. All right. Ah, oh, he popped off. Damn. So we're trying to wrap up the wrap up our stuff here and uh, this is the last pole to take in and lo and behold there's a fish on it. it feels heavy this could be a ray although it's not sticking to the bottom it could be a gigantic catfish it's pretty heavy though big Yeah. Good yeah, it might it must have picked it up and swam to the beach. Instead of going uh the other direction. I think it's a big red. No, it's a red. Yeah, no, I don't know. Wow, I didn't even know he was on there. Just nibbling in the bait. Let's check it out, see what we got. Wow, nice spots. Look at that. Four spots on this side. See what we got, measure wise. This is the measure tape. All right, let's see what we got. 27? 27? Yeah, there is 26. 26 and a half. Yeah. Keeper. Oh yeah. All right, so we got two redfish on the day, yeah. Not bad. Get them in the cooler. Thank you. All right. All right, it's a good day. Let's go. All right, so we are back at the house with our two redfish. Um, and we are going to clean these up and have them for dinner. So I'm just gonna do a clean and cook. You've already seen the catching portion of this video, but 
I'm going to run through how to fillet these fish and hopefully it can help you out or just watch for your viewing pleasure. All right, so hopefully that you're in frame and you can see everything. I don't know how this GoPro shoots, but we'll work it out, figure it out. So, all right, so first I have a bread knife, it's serrated, and I'm going to cut through these scales here, get up the pectoral fin, and get through these scales all down to the all the way down to the to the backbone. The scales are tough. The serrated knife really helps out. And then what I'm going to do, make sure I'm all the way down. And take my fillet knife and just trace out the fish right down the backbone. And this is my new fillet table. I haven't <clears throat> had a chance to do the top yet. The uh, the cart the uh, the cutting board top, but that's next on the list. So I have nobody to film for me today, but. It should work out fine. So now I just outline the fish down the backbone. Now I just take the, the this whole fillet and just go right along the rib cage. I'm sorry, the backbone there. Get as close as you can to the backbone. Get all that meat off there, all that goodness. Such a nice fish. It's a shame to dispatch them for food, but I mean they eat really well. They're tasty. And you gotta cut right through the uh, the rib cage there. Should have. I'm afraid of this knife. I cut myself last time I was filleting a fish with this knife. It's so sharp. So I just got to cut through those rib bones. Get down in there. And there we go. Just got to cut down this <clears throat> rib, rib meat here. Get rid of that. I know what you're probably saying, cleaning this fish on plywood, but rest assured I will have a cutting board top sooner than later. So that's one fillet, got all that meat off, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. I should flip him over like that. It sucks being a lefty, but that make the best of it. Do the same thing over here. Outline the fish. Light on the backbone. Such a fun fish to catch too. Really was no skill involved for these. There was no sight fishing. Just posting up a live bait and letting it ride. So usually we fry them up. Today I'm going to do these on the stove top and broil them in the oven. This one I'm murdering a little bit, but it happens. Let's see those rib bones. And that's that. And then next, I will skin them off. Okay. All that out of there. It's good. Now, I'll just skin them off.
that I'm murdering this fish here, huh? But that's good. There we go, there's a nice fillet. Got some rib bones in this one. Not a bad looking fillet. Okay. Take two. Okay. Look at that. This one didn't get bled out as well as the other one did. This one we caught second and he was still alive when he came home. But that's that. So that is the redfish. And I'll do the snapper real quick. Snappers go a lot easier. Not as robust as the uh, the redfish. Same deal though. Outline the fish. Down the backbone. Ow! These make great fried sandwiches. See some of my favorite fish to, uh, to eat. Besides striped bass, of course. Well, I'm a little partial to striped bass because I'm from the north. But these are a lot easier to, to clean than those reds. Reds are just like striped bass. They got a big rib cage. Here's that one. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Outline down. Now, if you know a better way in the comments, please let me know. But, you know, this is how I learned and how it works for me. Through those rib bones. There we go. Perfect. Same thing. These are great. Not a lot of meat on these smaller ones, but what he's here is. Super quality. <sighs> All right, so that concludes our cleaning portion. Stick around for the preparation part. All right, see you later. Okay, I have my sous chef here. Lost her first tooth today. Let's meet. Let's see. Smile. Looking good. All right, so we're gonna get the fish, our lovely red fish we just caught today, and we're gonna lay these in the oil. Nice hot oil. Oh, yep. And that's Gael. Oh, 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 Hopefully we can get them all in here. And we're gonna hit it with a little Everglades seasoning. From the one side. We have some room for some more in there. Huh? You gonna have some fish, Gail? Yeah. And mommy just came down with the phone in her hand. And do you know what my mom's real name is? Maria. Okay, so we'll let those fry and then we're going to put them over and hit it with some more seasoning. Apparently I'm smoking up the house here. So we're going to cook these on one side and then the other just to get a little browning on them. Got room for one more in there. Get the other side with the Everglades seasoning. 
be very liberal with that. I love that stuff. It's good. All right, once we have a little bit of color on all these fish, we're going to take them out. Let them sit and rest. For a little bit, and then we're going to deglaze with a little bit of white wine. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to hit it with our red and white peppers and our sweet pepper medley. The Trinity. I'm going to saute this up a little bit. Use cast iron pot saw to keep control of. Okay. Put that, put that saute up a little bit and we'll come right back. Put these with a little bit of salt, a little bit of sea salt. We got some rice here cooking too. It's gonna be good. That's about done. I'll turn that off. Let that rest for a bit. Okay, so we're gonna take our pepper medley and reserve a little bit. Let's kill this heat. And reserve a little bit for after. That's good actually. Okay. We got a nice bed of peppers. And we're going to take our fish, put it ever so gently on top of the medley. All right. These have our nice Everglades seasoning on them. Space them nicely so that they fit in the pan. This is redfish locally caught first thing this morning. Is that the best, Kai? Okay, we have everything organized in the pan. Now we're going to go into an oven. 375 for about 15 minutes. You know what? I'm going to drizzle a little bit of white wine in there too. Keep that moist. Okay. She goes. I'm making my own dinner. Why not, right? We're going to go with French, French size servings since we had a late lunch. I'll be for your dad, right? I'll be for your dad. All right, so the fish just came out of the oven. I'm going to let that rest for a, little, for a couple seconds. Looks pretty good, nice and medium. Looks pretty fancy, so I'll take a piece, any piece. This is a good one. Plate that up like that. Take a little bit of the medley. Put that on top like that. A little bit of the juice. Voila. Okay. Do a couple more. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready? Who's ready? You. Are you ready? I have some rice in here. You can in just one second. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get an extra hot burrito. Yeah? Yeah, I did. Guess what I'm making? What? Fish. Red fish. They wear the, um... Redfish over rice pilaf. Where, where's the um, angle? Sorry, my camera angles are a little wacky. I got nobody to film for me. So, mm -hmm. I think that's going to about do it. So, we're going to enjoy this. And we're going to enjoy this. Take a bite. Let me know what you think. Want some? 
Is it good? Could you eat like a whole fish? I see you. Come on, mate. Don't eat yet. Your turn. No.